throwing poppers. Nice crisp cloud cover this morning. Slight breeze, working with some ideal top water conditions here today, folks. Oh! Oh! How did he not eat it? That's a great question, dude. I have no idea how he didn't just choke a bait with two treble hooks on it. He did what he was supposed to. I just wasn't paying attention. Right on cue, guys. Oh, he destroyed it. That's how. That's what smallmouth fishing with poppers is like. They destroy it, and there's just nothing there. Don't know why it's doing. There we go. Come on, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh my god, dude. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> oh, barely hooked. Barely oh, hooked. Barely hooked. You want to grab for you? I got. Woo! There we go. Early morning top water. Look at him. It's not a toad, but dude, it's a, it's like, a dude, hard skin, fighting skin fit. Skin hooked on the back. Though. Yeah, I know. This is gonna be interesting. Watch it. Just don't pop. Don't pop. <laughs> Get over here, Sally. Woo! Look at that. That right there is the first fish of the day. That is what you call a high note. Look how this fish is hooked. Dear Lord. I've been jumping around fishing for Michigan LMBs, Ohio LMBs, and now we're back in Texas. And it has been quite some time since I've crossed paths with one of these southern largemouth. First fish down, gonna put him back in the water. He gone. Holy smokes, dude, that, that bite was as big as the first one, and it's not even that big of a fish. Oh, another one. He gone. He's off. He gone. Sorry, dude. It appears that Rob and I have stumbled upon a, a slight topwater bite this morning. And by slight, I mean not so slight. Pretty aggressive topwater bite. Oh, come on. No way. Can you believe that? I was literally just reeling that popper in. <laughs> well, maybe they want it like faster. Maybe we're doing it, moving it too slow. Second victim on the little. Little Jacko popper. Is that what it's called? Jaco, Jacko? If I don't know any better, I said that was a 10 pounder, but unfortunately, it's about a 10 ouncer. I'll take it though. See you, bub. Popper game strong. Let's see if this one is any better. Oh! You got one too? Yeah. Double? Oh my god, look how I hooked this fish. What the heck? How'd you do that? <laughs> what the heck? How come I hooked you with this one on the butt? Well, hey, check out my fish, though. My I hooked mine on the tail, so get on my level, Rob. I just wacky rigged this bass. Well, there you have it, guys. My first wacky rigged largemouth of the day on the popper. I'll take it, though. It's It technically is a count. We saw him eat it, right? All right, cool. See you, dude. Oh, yeah. That is a good one. Wow, that's a nice one. <laughs> My second cast after. Hopefully this one's hooked in the mouth, guys. Okay, here we go. I think it's a pretty, oh yeah, this is that's a solid fish. It's a solid fish. Starting to get on Rob's standards. Boom, look at that jump, dude. He annihilated this popper. Not bad, not bad. A, a much better eat on that one too. All, all the hooks in the right places. Wow, it's a pretty long fish, honestly. What? What would you guess? Is he past the box? He's past 18. Really? Yeah. 18? Gosh darn. Okay, well, you're a long one, just not super fat. See you, bub. Okay, now that I got that whole top water thing out of my system, it's time to do a little intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Great to see you again back in Texas here. Today I'm fishing with my good buddy Rob. We're out on the 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 pink boat, the ferry mobile, and we're just having fun today. We're out in a little lake just cranking on some good old Texas bass. I brought the MTB Pro Box out with me today, um, but MTB's kind of changed some things up. As you may be able to, it looks extremely different. So let's talk about this real quick and get to fishing. Okay, so as you can see right here, MTB is doing a little catch and win competition. This is something that uh, the dudes over at MTB kind of contact us about and asked if we could share with all of you guys out there and it's actually a pretty sweet way to go out there catch some fish on the baits within your box measure it with the box post it on instagram and then win some some stuff here are the rules first you have to catch a fish obviously catch a fish using one of the baits within the box so any of these baits right here step number two measure use the ruler below to see if you have a keeper 
So this right here is the ruler, and then right here is the keeper requirements. So it's not just bass, you can have a panfish keeper, a trout, a bass, a walleye, or everything else. I don't really know what everything else means. I'm assuming pike, musky, giant yeah. trevally, bull shark. <laughs> You could measure your bull shark on this box. Anyway, today we're fishing for bass, so we're gonna use this little key right there. That last fish was, was in fact over 14 inches, so that would be a fish that we could enter in the contest. The next step, and the very last step that I would then have to do, which I'm gonna do later on today, is then share the catch. Share a picture of your fish on Instagram using the hashtag MTBKeeper. So there's literally three steps you have to perform in order to enter in this contest and it's very, very straightforward. I'm actually gonna post a few of my catches on Instagram today, maybe like my biggest catch. Hopefully I catch one bigger than 18 inches. I still can't believe that was 18 inches. That was a very long fish. That top order of popper I got in this month's box is like really killing it right now. This is a little, oh, it's a J-Pop by Jenko Fishing. It's a $9 popper and it's absolutely smoking right now. Okay, let's get back to fishing. I'm at the point now where I'm just rambling. That does suck. Oh, good fish. Well, you know, Robert, it was a good fish until I just decided, hey, I didn't want to catch it anymore. Damn. Just lost another one, guys. What else you got here? Oh, dude, you got a good fish. That, dude! That sounded like a real good fish. Oh, no, it was a good fish. That was a good blow up. Trust me, it was a great fish. Oh, probably would have been. Oh, is that a fish? Yeah. Good one? Good, good better one. one. I think it might be the same one, dude. <laughs> Whew, look at that. Oh. Choked it. Missed this fish the first time around, then came back and he smoked it. Not bad. I'll take it. Still working the popper regardless of this wind. Usually when it's windy like this, I kind of just give don't up. even yeah, give up. I don't even mess with the popper too much. But case in point, these fish don't really care. They're aggressive right now. They're looking up. They've got a lot of adrenaline, as do I. We're nearing some pads over here, so I might switch up tactics. Might look for another bait in the MTV box. We'll see. I'm feeling spontaneous today. <laughs> I'm catching that. Hey guys, I'm out of one-liners. Oh, I heard it. He's on. He's on. He's on. This thing is just killing it today. I didn't even come out. That's a good one too. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Why throw a crawl when they're doing this? I think we're gonna submit this one online. Let's do. Let's let's put this guy on Instagram. He needs he needs to be insta famous for a few moments. Okay, so this is all you guys have to do. Put your fish on the board. As you can see, that fish is well over 14 inches. So that is a fish that counts. Gonna snap a few picks. Get some sick shots of this fish. Now that we got the pick. We're gonna hook this dude who so nicely ate the popper and uh, gonna post this on Insta. Peace. Little dude, er, here, better caption. Green guys are straight, can't spell straight, crunching the popper. And then uh, don't forget to use the hashtag, always gotta use the hashtag when doing the last step, which is the share step. Press okay, press share. Oh, oh, boom. It's on Insta now. So it literally is just that easy. Like I said, enter for a chance to win some baits. I don't necessarily know the prizes. I feel like I should know that. I don't. Let's get on to the, the, the rest of the video. Rob and I have kind of eased into this little pocket here. And in case you haven't noticed, there's actually quite a lot of vegetation back here. Some pads, there's some grass, and they're still eating poppers. We still got uh, some decent overcast. They should still eat top water, although I feel like that bite is slowly starting to fade, which kind of stinks as I was having some fun with that. Regardless, we're gonna keep plugging, we're gonna keep chugging, and hopefully we cross paths with a real giant. Rob almost had a real giant. Had about a 20 incher, but it was about that thin. Especially this damn one. you see, I get good one. Oh no. Dude, that is a good fish. Golly. Oh, look at that mouth on your Oh, <laughs> oh it's hot. Look at that. Good job. A lot of the fish I've caught today have had that weird little split nose there. I don't know what that's all about, but that's oh, crazy. You're right. Yeah, I, I've had like three fish like that. Whew. Changed it up a bit, put down the popper. It was hard, I'll admit, and finally got bit. First bite, and it's an absolute 
nice and it's a good one. It's a good fish. Maybe close to 20 inches. Big old beautiful brute. Look at that jig in his mouth too. Absolutely annihilated it. Okay. See you later. Please hold on to my thumb. Look at that. That feels good. After throwing the swim jig for a bit, I got some confidence and I'm glad I stuck with it because it produced the biggest bite of the day. This wind's progressively getting worse. It's getting a lot more uh, gustier, if that's even a word, gustier. But it's really ripping hard. Rob's motor's starting to die a bit. Who knows how much longer we'll be fishing for. It's just fun to get out here, kick it, catch some fish. That was the main goal for today, is just have fun. Just enjoy the day and bring you guys along with. Sick. Good fish. Decent. Decent. Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell did that fish come from? Ah! <laughs> oh. Boom! That's what's up. Another swim jig victim. I'm not getting too many of these, but uh, I will say they're all really, really nice sized. Holy smokes, another absolute pig. <laughs> Nothing beats a giant thump from a swim jig. Look at that thing's head. Holy smokes, that's a mean looking fish. Well, I think on that note, we're gonna end today's video there. Awesome day on a little pond with Rob and the MTB box. It's good to get back to Texas and figure out what these fish are up to. Oh my God, look at that. Something about a swim jig bite, but it's just so much fun. Come on, Bubba. Okay. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. As I've said multiple times throughout this video, it feels so good to be back in Texas. It feels like I'm only in places for a very short amount of time, then it's like to the next and the next. But it is nice to be back. Before I sign off and I say goodbye, I want to talk about the two lures that I had the most success with today. One of which came out of the MTB Pro Box for the month of May. This one right here is a little J-Pop by Jenko Lures. For some reason, they were absolutely all over this. So I don't know why, I wonder if it was because it's just a louder rattle. It's kind of an interesting design. It walked a bit too, it spit really nicely. It was all around a pretty good bait. A bait that I've actually never fished before until I got an MT box, so pretty stoked about that. And the setup that I was using for this is the same setup that I used essentially for jerk baits up in Michigan. This is a seven foot favorite rush. It's like got that really soft tip perfect for when those fish blow up you don't want too much tension on that i've got a 7.1 to 1 gear ratio reel with 50 pound braid a little overkill but i mean it worked that's that's the main thing i did lose quite a few fish on this setup um but i think that was just because of short strikes i mean you're gonna lose a lot with top water i would say the conditions were like windy kind of crusty sun on and off it was kind of an, a, a typical summer day here in texas hope you guys enjoyed today's video learned some things i learned some things I got to try out some new baits. Anyway, thanks guys. Really appreciate it. A lot more videos to come. Got some epic trips coming up. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, keep fishing. Never stop. Uh, hey guys, uh, today we're gonna use this, uh, and catch topwater fish. Okay. First bait in the box. Are you still going with it? Yeah, I don't really know. <laughs>